Namaste everyone. In today's video, I wanted to share with you about going back in time, going to a different reality, going to a different dimension. I know this topic might be totally weird for some, um, unbelievable for some, but let's, uh, please do hear me out. My name is Priya. I'm very passionate about sharing positivity and empowering others to live their life to their fullest. We're all creators. We have the capability to create our life the way we want it. So let's make it beautiful together. Let's dive in. So today's topic could be a little bit weird for some, but I thought let's just talk about it because the main, um, main important aspect I want to talk to you about is the skill or the technique to develop um, in order to visualize properly to manifest what you want. So talking about going to different dimensions or different reality, going back in time might be some uh, sound very mythical or um, unrealistic for some. But if you think about it, um, we're all energy. We were created by energy and we have energy, so much energy in us. But how we create our life is also through energy. So going back basically means it's in, in, in your mind um, it might sound very unreal, but if you think about it, there's different dimensions. Even currently, there are different dimensions existing um, in and in um, uh, parallel to our real, um, our, our physical world. So even though we are living in this physical world, um, we, we can uh, travel through uh, different dimensions, through meditations, through dream, through even daydreaming or visualize, uh, visualizing um, what you want. So imagine um, if that sounds, if that doesn't sound real to you, close your eyes right now and imagine yourself in Bahamas um, or any other tropical countries that you wanted to go to. And uh, picture yourself right sitting by the sand, feel the sand, feel the grind, um, granular sand in your hand right now. Visualize an ocean coming through with the breeze and visualize a nice, nice blue, uh, uh, um, whatever blue, uh, shade of blue that you like, just visualize that. And then imagine having a pina colada or any sort of drink that you to totally want to drink at the moment in your hand right now. Are you able to see this in your mind? Are you able to smell the drink that you have in your mind? Are you able to feel the breeze just by visualizing? Most people are able to, some could obviously say, no, they're not able to. That's because you're not able to transmute your energy to that level yet. But if you keep practicing, you're able to, but just this visualizing technique kind of tells you that you can go to a different dimension because you weren't physically in Bahamas or any other tropical country right now, um, unless you live there. Um, but, but if you were able to go somewhere that you wanted and you're not physically there, and kind of have that experience that I just talked about, then you were able to have some sort of different dimension, dimension than what you are currently um, in right now. And this actually goes through, um, goes for dreams as well. We are physically in this world, lying down in our bed, uh, but we, we travel in so many different dimensions in our dream. And sometimes it feels so real, but, and we wake up and we're still in our bed. Um, so that means we're, there are so many different levels of dimensions out there. Even, um, let's say, even in your physical world, when you change your vibrations, when, you're, when you work on yourself, when you take actions, when you, um, you know, start doing yoga or meditating and um, do these um, law of attraction techniques, then your vibration changes because that's why we say prepare your vessel to, um, to be able to manifest uh, more than what you're able to right now because the more you practice the more you prepare yourself the more you build yourself um, the more you can manifest easily than what you are currently doing so when you do that when you change your actions you already have a different reality so what was what seemed like impossible for you to achieve in your life once you change your action your belief system and um, you know practices you are already in a different dimension so if you think about it, if you if you are able to create a different dimension even within your reality, there are obviously so many different things out there that we probably didn't even experience. And some of these things might not be pos possible for everyone in their physical world in that moment because some things actually require more practice and sometimes our mind gets in the way. And for most of us, like 99% of us, our mind gets in our way. So we are still practicing to do 
proper meditation, proper breathing practices, proper visualization technique. But then there are people out there that are so good. And, and sometimes, you know, you see this on social media or you hear this through your ancestor, uh, you know, the stories that you hear from like your ancestral time make you feel like, oh no, that's impossible. How did that person travel backward? Or how did that person know the future? But the, the, there are people who know that because what they do is they, they practice so much that they can transmute their energy to a different level. If we can start practicing, and it doesn't mean everyone wants to go back um, towards, um, you know, back, uh, back in time, but there are things that you can work through, through visualization techniques. So when you start first um, focusing on your breathing, you clear your mind. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. The minute you start focusing on your breathing like that, um, and you continuously do that, you clear your mind. The minute you clear your mind, then you can focus on your third eye or the gateway because they open up very clearly um, the minute you start focusing um, on your third eye. So start after you do your breathing exercises, then start focusing on the light in, in your third eye. And when you focus on that light, then it takes you to a different dimension. And I have done so many meditations like this before, but you can um, uh, try guided meditations or on your own. But once you start um, uh, taking yourself into that different dimension, it's almost like your dream. But then you focus on where you want to go. So you can go into your future or you can go to um, your past as well if you want to work something out. And let's say you had um, an argument with someone. And what you need to do is go to that situation, bring that situation in your mind clearly. But not everyone, when I say bring that situation clearly, can actually clearly bring all that energy back in because we forget our mind gets in our way. But once you practice on a daily basis, you can take yourself very quickly into that dimension. Then you can you can ask for forgiveness. You can um, create a different situation that, and then bring yourself back into this reality. It doesn't mean the situation is going to be changed all of a sudden just because you change it in a different dimension, but the outcome based on that situation might change. So all of a sudden this person that um, you felt like you um, didn't treat well might actually contact you and actually say they, they have forgiven you or someone that you want to forgive actually comes to you and then you're able to um, communicate with them. And this may this might seem weird, but if you actually get yourself practicing like this, you can actually do it much quicker and you can have more uh, peaceful life as well. And you can get um, forgiveness in this lifetime because that's very important before we leave our body. We need to ask for forgiveness and also learn to forgive others so we're not tied to things um, when we are leaving our body. That's a different topic, but just wanted to bring that up while I'm talking about different dimensions. Um, so when you start doing that you can also create this um, visualization technique to um, take yourself to a different dimension to create your future just the way that you want it I'm not saying just by visualizing you'll get exactly what you want but you'll learn to um, you'll learn to focus better you learn you'll have a clear picture of what you want in your future and then you actually start taking action towards it and the minute you start taking action towards it you will attract everything that you need in or anything that you want in your life um, and and when when you get a clear picture then sometimes you might tell yourself that actually that's not something i want in my life so then you get a better picture you get a, a clear idea of what you want to manifest so these are just some ideas. I hope this was helpful for you. If it was, please click the like button and please share this video with your family and friends as well. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe and click the notification button as I'm very determined to creating weekly videos for you guys. Until then, namaste.